yeah, we, we just said we're gonna eat salad for the next three days because we've been on like an all meat diet. Hey, we're Mel and Jay. Together with our cat, Benny, we're traveling from Hope, BC, all the way to South Padre Island, Texas, y'all, with lots of stops along the way. This is a large shovel. It was on the way, we had to stop and see it. So the pictures I've seen, this was sticking straight up and it seems to have like levers or something. How do you get it to stand up? Maybe they bring it down during times of high wind? I don't know. It's still the world's largest shovel. So says the Guinness Book of World Records. And we saw it. This site has been a total pain in the you-know-what. That tree over there is blocking the slide, and then we couldn't get level. Anyways, I think we're here now, but man, this was just a trial just getting into this site. Doesn't look like a difficult one either. We are in Lockhart, Texas, but why? Texas is well known for its barbecue and the town of Lockhart here has declared to have the best barbecue in all of Texas. So that's why we've come here to eat our faces off. <laughs> <laughs> Meat eaters, get ready to see a lot of barbecue. Vegetarians, you might want to avert your eyes. All right, on this barbecue adventure, we are going to go to three different barbecue places. And our first stop is here at Terry Black's Barbecue for dinner. And then tomorrow we'll do lunch and dinner again. All right, so when you first come in, you order your sides. We got potato salad and beans, and then you order your meat. We got about a half pound of brisket and a sausage link. It was about a third pound, sold by the pound. And, oh man, this smells really good. I think we're just gonna have to dig right in. Now, some of these places don't allow forks. I'm not sure what's up with that, but uh, I'm kind of glad that they have forks here, especially for the beans. Oh man. Mmm. Oh, that is really good. So I'm going to try the sausage. We got cheddar jalapeno. It smells nice. Mmm. It's got a nice, like, crisp outside and, like, soft inside. I feel like I'm talking about a cookie. <laughs> but it's got a little bit of spice, which is perfect. This is really, really good. And now I'm going to have the brisket. The brisket's nice, but I think I like the sausage better. Now these are brisket beans, I think. It sounds like beans. Those are good. All right. Now that we're in the truck, you're going to get the real review. Because you know we like to keep it real here on Home <laughs> So here's what we actually thought. Eh. <laughs> right. It was it was fine. The brisket was tender, um, not a ton of flavor, but they had barbecue sauce to go with it. Uh, I thought it was a bit cold though. It could have been hotter. Mm -hmm. um, the sausage was, I think, my favorite part. Yeah, it was, good. it was really nice. It was good and juicy and and delicious. Spicy. And a bit of spice. Um, and then the beans were excellent as well. Potato salad was pretty good, but it, heavy on the dill. Um, yeah, so it was okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a whole lot to compare it to, but I wanna say uh, the barbecue cook-off that we went to in San Antonio, um, most of the brisket that I had there, 
I would rate higher than the brisket that I just had now. Yes. <laughs> so, and yeah, and honestly, I think my favorite thing was the brisket beans. Which, if your side is the highlight. Yeah. So, uh, we can't give like a massively high rating here, but we've still got two more places to go tomorrow. So, yeah, here's hoping that uh, they're a little better. <laughs> On to the next. Yeah, now I think we're gonna go and try and find some dessert because it's actually like not super great value either. You know, it was a $40 meal. Yeah, so you, and you saw our tray, right? It had three slices of brisket, one sausage link, and those small little um, cup of uh, beans and potato salad. And that was 40 bucks. So anyways, we need more food now. Are we being too hard on the place? Let us know in the comments. But we're going to go get dessert now. We were thinking about going golfing this morning, but uh, yeah, it's not quite the weather for it. I think we're just gonna have to have some barbecue instead. This is the only state park that we've ever seen that has a nine hole golf course on it. And yeah, we were really hoping we could do it, but it's just not looking great. Maybe the weather will improve a bit later. We'll see. You know, the great thing about this campground though, is that we're only 10 minutes from downtown Lockhart. So it's just a short drive to all these barbecue places. Turn left onto North Commerce Street. Take the next ride onto Cemetery Street, then you will arrive at your destination. Well, this would have been really fast, <laughs> but this is a pretty long train. Here at A Market, we're not exactly sure how to pronounce it. We think it's either Kreutz or... Kreutz. Kreutz? I'm I... not sure. Anyways, we're going to check out some more barbecue. This is a popular spot on a Saturday, that's for sure. Yeah. This room here is pretty smoky. <laughs> Got some cutlery? Yes. I'll bet that's the spicy one. Yeah. Mm. What do you think? It's nice. All right, now the moment of truth. We're going to try the brisket. hot. It's tasty. Good. You're having brisket and bread. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm going to try some sausage and sauerkraut because, I mean, if it's a German place, you got to get sauerkraut. I love sauerkraut. Mm. Now, this is something I've never had before. The sauerkraut is warm and has caraway seeds in it, and it's just a really nice flavor. Okay, we're back in the truck. You've been waiting for it. The real review. All right, so the sausage, very good, juicy, um, nice outer crisp shell, and uh, the brisket, that was by far my favorite brisket so far. It was tender, it was juicy, um, I loved that they served it with bread. The last place at Terry Black's, they had bread on the side, um, wrapped up at, near with the drinks, if you wanted it, but we didn't totally understand the purpose of it, so we didn't get any. This one, they just gave it to you as part of your package, and we're so glad that they did because it like sopped up the oils and stuff from the brisket, and it was like eating buttered bread with brisket. It was so good. Yeah, we were impressed with this place. Much, much better than last night. Yeah, really good brisket. You know, it was kind of soft and just fell apart whereas the other was you know a, a little bit, bit more dry and bonus they're actually cheaper here than at terry blocks yeah i want to say the prices were about 30 percent less and we ended up getting a little bit more just because we went home hungry last night so we got two sausages mm -hmm. and half a pound of brisket and two sides the sides were a little bit smaller but also a little bit cheaper mm -hmm. And yeah, we're both full and satisfied after this meal. 
And now we've got one more place to go. We're going to need a little rest though before we can go because our stomachs are a bit full. <laughs> um, so we'll be doing the final one and we'll reveal that later um, at, for dinner tonight. Back to the campsite. All right, so now that we are back at camp, why don't I give you a tour of our campsite? We are staying in site number 20. It's the very last site that they have. And you can see we've got a paved pad here for the trailer. And then off the side, we have a fire pit, a picnic table, and a barbecue stand. We also have a water spigot but we did not connect to it this time because we're only here for a couple of days and we were nervous that our water hose would not reach all the way from there all the way to the front of the trailer. So it was an odd placement, but all the other sites have it like right next to the electric hookup, which I will mention now, to the trailer. Now on this site, I also want to mention some of the campground sites are not big rig friendly. So keep that in mind when you're booking. Um, I think on the website, it'll tell you anything um, over 25 feet is, uh, can be in sites one through 10 and site 20 here, I believe. Maybe one or two other sites along here, but um, that's it. It's mostly tent cars, small, like 18 footers. So yeah, you can see with our slide out, we are get really close to that tree. Well, you probably saw, we had to park twice. <laughs> so this is a perfect site if you don't have a slide or if you do, just be mindful of some obstacles. We've got a few trees around, but our Starlink is still getting a good signal. And just to the back of our site, I believe is the river. Yes, there's the river. And there are some trails along the river um, on both sides that uh, you can explore. They have a dumping station. They have bathrooms and a shower stall inside, just one. All right, so this is the upper loop where sites one through 10 are located. And as you can see, it's a little more open, a little bit more big rig friendly. And some of these sites actually have full hookups at these ones, they have sewer. They have a nine hole par 35 golf course. They have various public programs, including golf for beginners. They have a day use picnic area right next to the playground for the kitties. And they've got a basketball court. That I don't think has ever been used. <laughs> they even have a volleyball net. And if all of that wasn't enough, they even have a pool, which opens up on Memorial Day weekend. And you can even rent a golf cart to play golf, as well as clubs. So you don't even have to bring your own equipment. And it's very reasonably priced. I think the golf cart rental was $11. The green fee, it's like $10 and the club rental was seven bucks. They also have ice and firewood for sale at the visitor center. And that covers the tour here at Lockhart State Park. Back to the barbecue. Okay, we're about to head out to our third and final barbecue place, the original Black. Our final stop on the barbecue tour here in Lockhart is Black's Barbecue. Now you might be wondering, didn't we just go to a Black's Barbecue? And yes, we went to Terry Black's. This is just Black's. Now the story there is that it's all the same family, but there was a bit of a rift that happened. And so part of the family split off and started Terry Black's. There's a whole blog you can read about the history and the feud. Uh, we're not gonna get into that. We're just gonna hear, be here and try their barbecue and compare them. All right, look at this spread. This looks pretty similar to lunch today. We got almost the same stuff except different sides. Got some green beans, some coleslaw, and some mashed potatoes. But I'm gonna try the brisket. You're just going for it on the bread now that we know how to eat it. Yeah, apparently this is the proper way to do it, so. None of that fork stuff. Wrap it in bread and just eat it. Mm. 
Very good. It actually reminds me of Terry Black. It's like almost exactly the same. Let's show the sausage. Is that the spicy one? No. Oh. That's the original and that's good. Spicy jalapeno? Mm-hmm. Which one do you like better? I like the original better. Oh, interesting. Yeah, at lunch, the brisket was really good on the bread, but I feel like here, this brisket is actually better just on its own. And now for, you guessed it, the real, real review. review. All right, so the original blacks. We got the half pound of brisket, we got one of each of the sausages, and we actually got three sides today, tonight. So we got the green beans, the mashed potatoes, and the coleslaw. Bad news about the coleslaw, it was inedible in my opinion. It just, some people like it really sweet with sh a lot of sugar, but man, even Mel couldn't eat it, and she likes sweet stuff like that. Uh, the potatoes, although I, I managed to eat them all, it was more like in disbelief with every bite, thinking, is this going to get better? They were very salty. The brisket was okay in my opinion, but not as good as the one we had for lunch. And the sausage was good. The original sausage yeah. was very good, actually. The cheddar jalapeno sausage was also good, but I liked the flavors of the original sausage even more. Yeah, so overall, a good experience here. Uh, I think now we're gonna head back to the trailer and do kind of like a recap of all three. All right, we're here to talk about barbecue. We hope that you enjoyed that little taste of what Lockhart has to offer. Now, we thought we'd summarize though. So, best sausage goes to... Bing! for the jalapeno cheddar. That's the Terry Blacks. But the original sausage, we think, goes to Bing! Blacks Barbecue, the original. Best brisket, though, hands down, Croy's. Bing! Don't you love these little commemorative cups that they gave us with a, for our iced tea? Mm. Anyways, uh, in terms of price, we spent somewhere between 30 to $40 on each place, but we felt overall that Croy's had a little bit more value for the money that we spent. For sure. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of service, Original Blacks, hands down, gets the best service. They were just super friendly. Like as soon as we walked in, they realized we were newbies and had no idea what we were doing. <laughs> even, even though we had already been to the other two places, like, oh, are you new? Oh, here, explain the whole thing. Helped yeah. us super, super friendly there, yeah. Big smiles on their faces, even gave us a sample of the ribs. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it was nice. Um, Croy's comes in second place for service. I would say efficiency with a smile is their motto. They were very busy and they just got people through. They got people through and they were doing their job and they still had time to, you know, converse a little bit. So that was nice. Um, but sadly, Terry Black's, we felt really rushed there. Yeah, it felt a bit rushed and they didn't really offer us any help when we were kind of like, you know, looking around and... Clearly knew. Yeah. Didn't know what was going on. They were like, what do you want for sides? Do, do you want a drink? Well, I don't know. Like, what do you have to drink? I don't even see a menu. Yeah. So, wasn't as friendly of a setup. Yeah. Uh, in terms of vibe, Terry Black's we would describe as modern, young group kind of hipstery. Croy's we would um, describe as traditional market. So kind of families, couples. Busy, bustling. Busy, um, lots of seating. And then blacks we would call kind of old-timey, authentic Texan barbecue joint with <laughs> pictures of famous people who have been there, wooden booths, kind of, yeah, it doesn't look like it's changed much since 1932, but that was part of the authenticity and the kind of interestingness about it. Um, so, our ranks from our least favorite to our most favorite. Terry Black's comes in third place, our least favorite. Sorry, Terry. The original Black's 
comes in second place, right in the middle. There wasn't a huge amount of difference between second place and first place, I don't think. I think so. The sides at this place sucked. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I remember. Okay, so yeah, the, the coleslaw you were very disappointed by. And the mashed potatoes. But our overall winner was Croy's. The food was good, and when it really, when it comes down to it, it's all about the brisket. Yeah, if you are after brisket, I would say by far the Croy's was my favorite. So yeah, that is our review and summary of all the Lockhart barbecue places that we went to. Mm -hmm. There are a couple more that we didn't hit, so we'd like to hear in the comments what your experience was and whether you have any other suggestions for Lockhart. Yeah, we, we just said we're going to eat salad for the next three days because we've been on like an all meat diet. <laughs> oh my gosh, like a day and a half of mostly just meat and carbs. I need some salad. Need a couple of vegetables now. All right, on that note, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. You know, the great thing about this campground, though, is Take we're only... Take right onto Park Road 10. You know, the great thing about this campground, though, is that we're... Mile, turn right on State <laughs> Park Road. You know, the great thing about this campground, though... River Otter! You want to see it? <laughs> oh, no, he's, like, way down there now. Darn. Missed him again. Alien. <laughs> Make sure you don't miss the next video by liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website and sign up for our weekly email blast. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.